Hello, welcome back for another story. Today's story is called One More Sheep and it's by, by Misha Kelly and Russell Ato. Tricky names those, I hope I got them right. On a wild, windy night, in a thunderstorm, Sam fetched home his sheep and tucked them up warm. With woolly socks on their toes and woolly hats on their heads, all safe and snug in a cosy big bed. Now Sam owned ten sheep and he had to be sure that he'd fetch them all in from that wet, windy moor. Where the hungry wolf growls and the hungry wolf prowls on a wild windy night, the hungry wolf howls. Oh! Sam had to know that they were all safe in bed, and one way to know was to count the mutton heads. He counted out loud one, two, three, four. That's as far as he got before he started to snore. He always does that. What's so hard about counting sheep? Is there something about us that sends him to sleep? I think he finds us extremely boring. How rude. And now he's snoring. Out on the moor the wind whistled and wuthered, while the sheep, safe indoors, snuggled under the covers, drifting through dreams until a loud rat-a-tat-tat -tat woke them all up. Who's there? What was that? Sam jumped out of bed and threw open the door. Well, bless my pink pyjamas, it's one sheep more. Snivelling and shivelling, bedraggled and forlorn. What a fool I am, cried Sam, to leave you in the storm. Come on in, my precious lamb, come in. Stop it, Sam, you silly man. He's got the brains of a watering can. How do you know that's one of your sheep? You didn't count us, did you? You fell asleep. Now don't muck about, said Sam. Remember who's boss. Let the little bleater in at once before I get cross. Not before you count us. Yes, count us, Sam. Do you think he'll do it? I don't think he can. Well, Sam could count his fingers and he could count his toes but he couldn't count the sheep in front of his nose. He scratched his head and wondered what to say. He couldn't tell them nicely, so he told them anyway. Sam said, It's a well-known fact that counting sheep tires people out and sends them to sleep. You're not at all interesting. You're not at all odd. You're a first-class ticket to the land of Nod. Well, thanks very much. How rude! That's an appalling attitude. But boring or not, and one thing was sure, the sheep didn't want to Sam to open that door. He's got to count us for goodness sake, but how are we going to keep him awake? We've got to cut... We've got to cut a dash, make a splash, put on a show. Do you think it'll work? I don't know, but here goes. Are you going to help me? Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Dancing sheep with socks on and hats, whatever next. Who is this then? Ah! Who is it? Sam quickly shut the door again. Bang! Ooh. 
and after that fuss and fluster, Sam couldn't get to sleep. So he closed his eyes and tried his best to count his boring sheep. There we go. And if that was your bedtime story tonight, night, night. I'll see you again soon. Bye.